Well, our decent start of the season has continued. We are still above a point a game, which, you know, should be enough to stay up by the end of the season. But today we have the biggest match so far, the Steel City Derby in the Premier League for the first time in however many years it's been. I have no idea. Maybe one of you guys can let us know down in the comments. But it's a big one today at Bramall Lane. Let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to some more Football Manager 2019, I'm Joe if you're new around here and welcome to part 3 of Season 8 of The Journeyman with Sheffield Wednesday. Today we take on our big rivals, Sheffield United, and we take on our rivals from last season, Brighton, who obviously won the championship. So, since you were last with us, as I say, our, our decent start of the season has, has sort of continued. Uh, we went out of uh, the, the, the League Cup in the fourth round. That's, you know, not, not the most surprising uh, result. I think this 0-0 draw against Everton as well. Uh, do, uh, no, no, we did that in the last episode, I think. We then went away to Tottenham and drew 0-0. I thought that was a decent result before losing 1-0 to Man City at home. Weren't expecting to get anything out of that anyway. We then beat Fulham, 1-0 away from home. Good result, good three points in the bag there. And uh, unlucky in this game against uh, Wolverhampton. Um, we were 1-0 up, uh, went 2 Two one down, drew it back to to two one. They went four uh, two up, and then then we got back to four three, and then they went uh, no sorry they went five two, and then we uh, went back to five three. So a bit of a disappointing result against Wolves, and all of that means that we are in fourteenth place at the moment after fifteen games, seventeen points, a couple of wins, you know, and and we could be up in that region again. A couple of defeats, meanwhile. Could see us uh, go down towards the relegation zone. So it is all very tight at the minute. Tottenham, are the, the the team that are really really struggling so far. Twelve points after fifteen games. Um, yeah, they're they're just really struggling. I mean, they've still got Harry Kane, he, who's still scoring goals as well. Um, but they're just generally struggling. They look like they've got a a really top quality team. So I'm not entirely sure why they're. They're doing so badly, but um, yeah, who is their manager at the moment? Whoever this guy is, um, is Victor Goncharenko, but uh, he's only been there seven days actually. Um, he was sacked. I wish I knew I would have applied for this this job. <laughs> um, and have they had an upturn in form? Well, no. Not particularly. They lost 5-0 in his first match. So, yeah, Tottenham are struggling. All right, they definitely are. Um, I think, is this match today? Yes, it is. So, yeah, let's have a little look at the team for today then. We have got uh, Nick Pope to start in goal. We've then got De Chilio, Ferrari, Pfizer and De Silva in defence. We've then got Winks and Silva in the middle with Willock, Jones and Sigerson starting behind Florin and Orn up top so let's get into it hopefully we can uh, get a good victory today i'm not I'm not sure where sheffield united are i think they're i think they might be bottom you know um so, so we might be slight favorites for this match but you know it's a rival day derby day anything can happen so come on sheffield wednesday let's let's put a few goals past sheffield uh, united i think we we beat them in the fa cup um last season so you know, we, we, we can play. <laughs> um, Sheffield United are indeed bottom, so... But it is all very, very close towards the bottom of the league. But, uh, yeah, I had an, a, a comment about uh, not commentating on the match so much, um, as, you know, as I do. But that it's just kind of habit. It's what I've always done. Uh, but Treore has put them 1-0 up. That's not a good start for us. Um, and they, they want to know more about the, the system that we play and, and stuff, which is f fair feedback. Uh, you know, I do appreciate 
uh, any sort of comment, you know, uh, feedback, construct constructive criticism, that sort of thing. Um, you know, I, I realise it is a thing, but quite often I don't know what to talk about, <laughs> you know, during the matches. So it's 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 much easier to just commentate on the match. So, um, but yeah, I, you know, we've been doing all right so far this season. I'd like to um, see us continue that, and uh, well. It's not looking likely at the moment. Julian Van Moos putting it into the back of the net. 2-0 to Sheffield United after 15 minutes. Well, the Tottenham go bottom of the table. That is crazy. Absolutely crazy. Wow. Imagine if Tottenham were bottom of the table in real life. I mean, it, it happened uh, many, many years ago. 2007-8 season, I think it was. Um... Before Harry Redknapp took over, uh, might have been the eight nine season actually. Juan de Ramos was the uh, the man at the helm, and they they only won two of their first ten matches or something, and were bottom of the table. Um, either that or they had two points after ten matches. I can't quite remember what it was. Um, thinking about it, six points after ten matches. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure whether he'd be bottom. Who knows? Anyway, he has uh, Barkley. Barkley on the ball. Moves it forward. Now he has pl a Plavsic. I'm commentating again. Oh, uh, and that's over the bar. But let me know. If, if you guys don't want me to, to commentate on the match, please let me know down in the comments. Or if, you know, it doesn't bother you that much, then we'll probably just revert back to uh, the usual way of, of doing these episodes. He has uh, Holberg. Uh, Falkenby. Oh, now here's Jones. It's very difficult to not commentate. I, I, I'm not sure what I'd be saying. Here's Andone. Oh, it's a good save. That was a chance. Hmm. I mean, looking at the stats, I think it's a bit of a harsh 2 0 at the moment. Um, we'll get them in at half time. We'll give them the. The good old Hanard Rolligan. And uh, we'll see if we can get some sort of reaction in this second half. Let's get the uh, the Get Creative chant going. Uh, <laughs> oh, dear. I mean, we've won five games so far this season. I think that's that's quite an achievement. Um, you know, plenty of teams have come up and, and won one. So, here's Winks with a chance and he gets us back in the match. First goal of the season for Harry Winks, and uh, slight suspicions of offside there, I think, but uh, a good corner from Sigerson uh, was headed away, and then Holberg down to Winks, who put it into the back of the net. Good finish from him, and it's 2 1. We're back in the game. Come on, Sheffield, a wed. Oh, the Owls. Let's do this. Jay De Silva on a 6.2. Not the best of games for him. Here's Jones. Jones back to De Chilio now. Winks. Dechilio into the middle. Sigerson. Andone hits a post. Uh, corner kick. Come on. Come on. Sigerson. Into the middle. Oh, it's not a good corner that time. Andone back to Silva. Could still be a chance here. No, not if you play it like that, son. Although it, it's a corner. It, it was deflected, to be fair. Um... Yeah. Here's uh, Sigerson. Um, De Chilio. Ooh, it's away again. Here's Plavzic. Oh, we're coming back in numbers here. No, oh, good, good interception from Winks there. Um, here's Adamar now. Barkley, good tackle. Adamar keeps pushing forward. Holberg. Come on, get the tackle in. And we should be pressing them, but we're not. <laughs> and this this guy's got the message, whoever this guy is. Is that Harry Winks, I think? No, Silver, Ricardo Silver. Um that's a good ball through. Three three one. End of match as far as I'm concerned there. Um right, let's make some substitutions. So, Curtis Jones is going to come off for Alan Brown. We're going to bring Andone off because he's been crap. Um, and we'll put 
uh, Sean Maguire up there instead. Silva's going to come off as well. We're going to put Alvaro on instead of him uh, and put him on attack. You never know. We might score two goals, but I, you know, generally this has been a pretty poor performance from us. Um, and Tottenham are going to descend to the bottom of the table if things stay as they are. Here's Pfizer. Pfizer on the ball now to Winks. Harry Winks to Alvaro. Gets it forward towards Sigerson. Garcia. Dahlberg away. Good header. Holberg now Winks. Come on. If we get a goal here, it could be a chance. Willock. Willock into the middle. Winks. Ooh, could have been a penalty, but play on. Here's Van Moose. Oh, it's a good ball forward to Abel Ruiz. Oh, for Jesus. Oh, my God. 4-1. This is... This is a little bit of a battering. And against our rivals, it's, it's not the result you want. Definitely not. And I'm just hoping that this doesn't shatter our confidence going forward I mean they were bottom of the table before this uh, this match so you know we would have been favourites going into it uh, and we've lost now the last two matches 5-3 and then this one 4-1 so really struggling defensively De Chilio, that's away and that is it End of the match, 4-1. That's a bit of a sore one to take. Let's go and beat our old rivals, Brighton. I was going to say Blythe. No idea why. Here we are then for the Brighton match. Uh, one change to talk about, and that's Adam Unis, who's come back into the team. For Joe Willock, everybody else... Um, actually, no, Tiru's come back in. As well for Gianmarco Ferrari, who's been quite rubbish, to be honest with you. But, uh, yeah, I'm just hoping for better than that. Sheffield United display, goodness me, that was terrible. But uh, we should have a, a decent chance uh, against Brighton, obviously. Um, you know, they're a similar sort of standard to team uh, as we are last season. They would have battered us. I'm not certain this year um, whether they will or not. I, I, I really don't know. Um, but what I do know is, is the the crowd's empty. That we just don't have the fan base uh, that are coming to support us every week, unfortunately. Um, and that is a big problem, you know, going forward. You know, we need the fans behind us, and and they don't appear to be at the moment. And oh, Mania has hit the post there. That was that was rather close. Now, how are Brighton doing this year? <clears throat> Obviously, last year they dominated the championship. Won the, the title by, I, I don't know, 13 points over us or something in the end. He has Unus with a chance. Unus again, it's in. It's in. Adam Unus scores. And that uh, was a brilliant assist from Florin Andone playing against his former club uh, today. I'm sure he's probably a legend uh, over at Brighton. But what a cross that was into Unus. Don't know how he didn't get it the first time, but a good finish the second time there. Um, but Brighton are 15th at the moment. Um, so they're above Tottenham. <laughs> Unbelievably. But um, so, so they're, they're having a decent decent start of it as well. Uh, as well as us. So yeah, interesting matchup today. He has Andone and he scores. And that was inevitable against his former club. Ninth goal of the season for him. What a finish from just inside the area. We're 2-0 up now. And that. You know, as a bit of a cushion, a beautiful ball forward uh, initially, but it was Sigerson that, that played the through ball and then a wonderful, wonderful finish from Florin Andone. And it's 2-0. I can't believe it. Absolutely can't believe it. Here's De Chilio, now to Tiru. Tiru to Winks. Here's De Chilio. Ooh, that's a good ball forward. Andone. Andone for to Curtis Jones. Oh, lucky. I really want Curtis Jones to do well this season, but it's just not going for him at the moment. And, you know, he's getting his big chance now that Angel Gomez is out of the team uh, with a long-term injury. Eunice has scored again. Disallowed. Ah, uh, that is annoying. How far offside was he? 
yeah, I guess just about offside. Unfortunate, but hey ho, uh, we'll definitely take the three points and run today if we can hold on to it. Ramirez now to Goldson. Goldson gets it forward. Good tackle by Sigerson on this left hand side. This has been a really solid performance so far from us. Uh, but as I say that, that was a, a poor, poor ball. Thomas, now Chervy. Out wide to Harris now. Harris pushing forward. Here's a Burkhardt. Oh! It's a good goal. Nishan Burkhardt. And Pope couldn't quite get a strong enough fist to it. But 2-1, uh, we're still ahead, you know, and that's that's the main thing. And it would open up a four-point gap to 15th place Brighton if we won this match, which is is crazy to say. Um, you know, we'd be seven points clear of Tottenham um, and Leicester down in the, the relegation zone as well. To all, well, that's the end of the fairy tale, isn't it? Deary me. Oh, we've been brought back down to earth now. And two really poor goals to concede, to be perfectly honest with you. We shouldn't be conceding goals like that at, the, at this level. Um, you know, if we continue to, to, to keep conceding goals like that, we're just going to be out like that. You know, out of the league. And, uh, well, we'll see if we survive. By the way, the Rangers job has, has become available. We have been heavily linked with it. Um, I have actually put in a, a, a declaration of interest. I, I would be interested in moving up to Rangers. Um, I know it's a step down from the Premier League, but you know I've got to think long term. Sheffield Wednesday isn't gonna, you know, we at, at best we're gonna just scrape survival this year. More than oh my god. <laughs> oh, two nil up, three two down now. FM it just loves loves to take the mick out of you, doesn't it? Um, let's forget about that. Um, you know, at best we're going to scrape survival this season, um, and more than likely we're we're probably going to just not be good enough and, and get relegated. And you know, to have another relegation on our CV, you know, I think Rob said it in the in the last episode of, of last season to say, you know, you've probably took Sheffield Wednesday as far as you can take them, you know, look for other jobs. And I think Rangers would be a decent opportunity. If we can build them into a, a, a premiership winning side over in Scotland, then I think long term, come on, Andone scores his second of the game. I think long term, a bit like Brendan Rodgers, you know, he could have went to a, a lower Premier League club after Liverpool and, you know, set the level there. But now he's winning trophies over in Scotland. People are talking about him for the bigger jobs. So, you know, and it gives us the opportunity of, of playing in Europe as well. Um, you know, so I, I think it would be a decent opportunity. I might even take a little bit of a pay cut to, to, to go there. Um depend on how big that pay cut might be uh, but we'll see we'll see we might not even get an interview yet so we just gotta just gotta hope hope and pray uh, really and, and, and see what they have to offer and, and have to say um, you know but Rangers are, are, are a massive club so yeah here's Winks now Ralston back to Winks Winks now to Alan Brown oh I tell you what, if he scored that, he would have been starting the next game. We are missing that little bit of Alan Brown magic this season, I would say, where he just squirts forward and um, scores a brilliant goal from outside the box. Here's Chervy into the middle. It's away by Shalaban. I think that's going to be full time, unless Unas can go down the other end here. Oh, it's a good tackle. It's a shame because Andone was free there. He should have just peppered the ball forward but a 3-3 there you know we'd have probably took that at the start of the match disappointing to be 2-0 down and uh, to not get the three points there but you know it's all about notching those points up uh, until we get uh, survival this season so hopefully that's going to be the case uh, we've got quite a tough run of games coming up um, 
but they're they're all going to be tough from now on in. We we need to get some points in these next few matches, uh, realistically. But we'll, we'll just have to see. We're fourteenth in the Premier League at the moment, almost halfway in. We would definitely take fourteenth come the end of the season. So that is where we're going to leave it for that episode. Let me know what you think about the Rangers job down below in the comments. I don't know whether we're going to get it or not, but we'll see on Monday, I guess. Uh, or t Wednesday. It's Monday today, Joe. Come on. Get your days right. <laughs> if you've enjoyed that, make sure you leave a like down below. It really does help me out. It means a lot to me as well. Subscribe to the channel for regular FM content. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.